What's up everybody? It's Jacob Miner with Creating the Difference. Today we have a ball review for you and it is going to be on the Columbia 300 Atlas. Doing some surface check. So you can see here, get the focus, we're scanning about 1500. So let's get right into it. All right, not a bad first shot. So the Atlas is a solid reactive ball. Comes out of the box at 500, 2000. It is an asymmetrical ball. And looking at the core numbers here, it has a 252RG 040 or sorry 054 diff and an 018 intermediate diff the same hit as last time so based off those core numbers what we're getting out of it is we're getting a low rg high diff ball so what that's going to do is that's going to project a little more hook out of the RG and a lot of flare out of the diff. So overall, this is a really, really strong ball. Um, try and get around it a little more this time. Well, I was around it. So yeah, I mean, this ball hooks awfully early. It's awfully abrupt. Um, this is a really good ball for a lot of you tournament bowlers that are bowling out a lot of uh, high volume, heavy oil patterns, sport patterns, things like that. Throw this one a little better. So for those of you that are like me and like these big, big ASIM balls with a whole lot of hook and flare, um, personally the mindset is the first one that comes to mind for a ball like that. And to me, the mindset is stronger than this ball. So for me, this would fit in my bag probably a step down, like directly down from my mindset. See, I got that one a little in, a little more up the lane. Still had enough to make the corner. Because that is a problem that I see with a lot of bigger balls. If you're bowling on heavier stuff like this, and you have a rev rate and speed like mine, a little lower revs, higher higher ball speed. Uh, that miss left usually doesn't do good things for you, uh, for me personally. There we go. Ouch. So far, overall, what I'm seeing on this ball, it's a really good ball. Um, you know, I think this is one of the better balls that has come out of the Columbia 300 line. Uh, we've, last ball we've seen that was close to this was their original speed, which actually this has the same cover as the original speed, the Formula One cover. but it has a new core. All right. 
So we're gonna move a little left now. I'm gonna go about five left. Really get around this one. Wow. About halfway down the lane, I wasn't too sure if that was gonna hook or not. No, and normally when you get into these bigger balls like this, they tend to be really rolly and really, really forward. Um, a good example of that is the Eternity Pie that I threw a couple weeks ago. That ball just, I mean, as soon as I moved left, it either missed the head pin or went right through it. Ooh. Man. It's definitely not what I see out of this. I see, I mean, it still is a really big hooking ball with a lot of flair, but it, it's not as forward. It still responds to the spot really well. All right, one more shot. We're gonna get a, we're gonna move two more left. And again, really get around this one. Oh, wow. So, yeah, overall overview of this ball, it's a really good piece for house and or your tournaments um, play. Um, this would be a really good ball to start with. Build a little more friction. Um, yeah, so Columbia 300 Atlas, real big ball for those of you guys that like big ASIMs. Doesn't hook overly too much on house patterns for you typical league bowlers that are looking for something maybe a little better, a little newer. With that being said, I am Jacob Biner with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.